All right, so let's talk about what it means to be disjoint. All right, two sets are disjoint if they have no elements in common. Okay, so you can see I drew a little picture over here. There's two sets, they have no overlapping elements, so um, they are disjoint. Okay, and um, in set notation, we say that the intersection of A and B is the empty set. Okay, so that's um, so using the intersection, we can also use this definition for. Uh, a disjoint set. They have no elements in common, so their intersection is the empty set. Now, um, we also talked about the complement of a set in the last lecture, so let's review that. Complement with an E, remember, complement with an E comes from the word complete, so it's the other part of, um, of the set. So if you have a set A that's part of a universal set, the complement of A is everything that's outside of A. Everything that's a universal set, but it's not part of A. So the complement of A, so as, I, as it shows here, this blue shaded region over here, um, it's everything outside of A, but it's still part of the universal set because we don't really care about the universal set. All right, so X is an element. Uh, X is part of the complement if X is a, in the universal set, but it's not an element of A. So let's take a look at this next example. Um, let the universal set U be all these colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Biv, right? <laughs> That's how to remember those, those colors of the color wheel. Um, so, and we let P, which appear to be primary colors, so that's a very good choice of letter, uh, the primary colors, P, P is the set red, yellow, blue, okay? And now we want to find the complement of P. All right, so we want to find, um, we're going to write it as P complement, okay, with a little a superscript C means complement. And um, we're just going to list everything in the universal set that's not part of, of the set P. All right, so it looks like red is part of P, so we'll skip that one. Orange, okay, so orange is in the universal set, but it's not part of P, so we'll list that one. Yellow's in P, green is not, so let's write green. And um, blue, okay, that's in the P set, so we're not gonna list that one. And then we have indigo, indigo, and it looks like violet is also um, not part of P. So, and if you notice, if you're, if you're, if you know something about art, those are, <laughs> we have P for the primary colors and we have the, P complement, which are the complementary colors. Okay, so um, that's our complement. Now I want to warn you because um, if you're, I know I've noticed <laughs> since I've been teaching online that a lot of people will go out and Google stuff and um, there are different notations that different sources use for complement and uh, actually other set notations. And um, if you go out there and, and you're Googling stuff, uh, you might find out, you know, you might see something like this, like P prime instead of P complement. But I want you to use the notation that we're using in class. So um, I would say, um, <laughs> hopefully you'll be able to learn what you need to learn from the videos I'm creating. So if you have questions, ask, but I, I want you to use the notation that we're learning in class. So be, be careful of that. If you start Googling stuff, you'll find other notation out there.